I think we're all connected in some soul level. A lot of days where I wonder. The question why, it was bugging me. I think um, as the world becomes smaller, the tolerance of different religions and faiths becomes greater. Hmm, absolutely. Um, I generally don't like the word belief. I usually like to, to say I have an idea about something. Um, people will kill somebody else over a belief. You can, t you can talk about an idea with people. Um, so I, I, I like to say I have a lot of ideas about things. Um, but I, I definitely believe that there is a higher power, a God, creator, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, I do. I'm not sure that the human mind can comprehend what God really is. And I, I have an idea that it's love and light and everything we would call goodness. That's what, that's what I think, think that it is. Um, but I, I, for me, I, I, it seems like a mistake to think that the tiny human brain can even begin to understand the mind of God. I, I've often said if, if I ever had to fill out a form to say what faith or what religion are you, I'd have to check miscellaneous because I have learned a lot, I have read a lot, I have listened to a lot of different teachers, a lot of different spiritual philosophies, and I kind of have a, a knack for feeling what is true for me. And I have no problem taking something from one or the other if it seems true to me and taking it into my soul. That's what I believe. Um, I think we're all connected, all living beings are connected in some soul level. And I think we all have a spark of the divine in us. Um, so we are, we're not separate from God. We, we, at least I, I can't say we, but I, I, I don't need a man in the front of a church to be my doorway to God. God is everywhere. The, the spirit is everywhere. It's in all things. Um, so you turn over a rock and it's there. You split a piece of wood, it's there. You just have to look for it. And there's, I had, like I said, I had a, I have a lot of ideas about things, but there's really only two things that I know. And the first one is, I, there are more than one path to God. There's many paths to one truth. And what's right for me might not be right for someone else and vice versa, but we certainly don't have to kill each other over it. And we should be able to talk about it and understand one another. And the second truth that I've come to is if you actually think you have it all figured out, you're kind of delusional. 
that's that's the best I've been able to come up with in all my years of searching. I'm pretty happy with that, actually. I think those are pretty good for me. I was raised one way, in one faith, and I'm not gonna say I outgrew it because, well, I just did, but that's kinda how I feel, but I think that's an arrogant way to say it, and I don't wanna appear that way. Um, but I started seeing other things that I, that I thought, that seems pretty good. Um, that kind of works for me. So I, I've incorporated my upbringing and everything else that I've studied and learned over the years to come up with where I am now. I, I try to always keep growing. I, I don't want to just stop and and sit. And my my God does not want blind faith. Blind faith to me is turning your brain off. I, my God, my spirit wants me to search and ask questions. And I think when we stop asking questions, we stop growing. I, I don't want to stop growing. I might get stuck in a rut here and there, but I always want questions. I always want to keep asking. And I think that's, for me, that's the way that I find my truth. Never just believe something because somebody tells you that it's correct or that it's one way or the other. Um, there's, there's far too many people in this world who don't believe the same things. There, and a God that is love and light is not going to condemn all of these people because they don't have the same structure. I, I, I just keep asking the questions and hopefully someday I'll have more than just those two answers. To not have doubts, I think, is to not be human, especially about something you can't see and you can't touch. Um, I, I, I won't say that there's ever been a time where I completely did not have some understanding of something greater than me. What that is kind of comes and goes. Some days I, I think that the universe is so vast that how can a God pay attention to one person because we're so tiny in the grander scheme of things. And then other days I feel the influence in my life, you know, with just good things that happen. I can, I can feel that, but that's good. That's good. And something may have had a hand in it. Um, and I, I kind of think that if there is direct influence in my life that it's kind of like that. Was there something else? I don't know. Maybe there was. But um, at the end of the day, I usually come back to, yeah, there's definitely something there. People of different faiths. Yes, definitely. Um, practices and the beliefs and the faith that make other people do good inspire me and that have a direct connection to the earth. I'm, I really am um, one with that. I, I like seeing the earth and creatures and the animals as my brothers and sisters. Um, that really inspires me and, and a lot of what some people would call primitive religions, that's what they're all about. And I think these so-called primitive peoples got a lot more on the ball than we do. Love the whole of the earth and everything that's in it and walk softly across the face of the world. That sums up to me about pretty much everything I need to do. I'm not a member of an organized religion. I broke away from that long ago. Um, but I also have a lot in common with a lot of these people. Part of that religion, as I stated earlier, part of it is still in me. 
and will never leave me. But I've, I've gathered a lot of other things to go with it and to enhance it, to enhance me. So I have as much in common with these other people as I have different from them. And I think that's a good place to start. I do. Differences can be good for us. Our differences are what make us who we are and they make us equal. And we should understand it instead of fight over it, I think. It's, it's ground to be friends, not be enemies, as far as I'm concerned. Hmm. I think I probably fall short every day. Um, I, I try not to, but uh, again, uh, we're imperfect creatures. That's just the way we are made. And um, whether we keep trying or not, that's what makes a difference. And I try to keep trying. I try to keep trying not to fall short. And maybe one day I'll get it right. You know, when my parents passed away, that's difficult. But it didn't make me stop believing in something. Death is a natural part of life. It doesn't matter how much we don't want to go through it, it's going to happen. Um, I would say probably in my when I was younger, um, there were a couple things happened that I don't want to get into specifics about, but sure, um, something really terrible happens to a really good person. It's kind of hard to see what the plan might be with something like that. You know, everybody says, well, it's God's will. God has a plan. Sometimes you just say that's complete horse because it makes no sense to us. It makes no sense. And that's that would be one of those times when I would would question things. But I've come back, I've come back to believing in something, or at least having ideas about something anyway. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know any better how to answer that, actually. When I'm afraid, I will always ask for help for something outside of me. And sometimes I feel like I get it, sometimes I don't. But just the process of asking helps. Everyone is so concerned about what's different about us instead of what's about what's the same. It's, it's not the tiny little differences that people should be concerned about, whether it's between faiths or races or countries. It's what's the same about us. That's what we ought to concentrate on. Everybody's human. It doesn't matter what color you are or what religion you are. Why can't we all realize we're all the same? We're all connected in ways that we can't even possibly comprehend. And we still keep fighting about a bunch of stuff that really doesn't matter. If we get right down to it, we all want to love each other and be loved. We all want to be good people. And if faith for a lot of people, that's what it is for them. It helps them be good people, be good to others. And I think I have that in common with everyone. My name is Tim and I want to believe.